How strong will the Straw Hat Pirate be at the end of the series? Now, Luffy is going to become the Pirate King, the strongest man alive. His crew has to be incredibly powerful, and I like to believe that the Pirate King's crew, that it's not that you have to be at a certain level of strength, but to be a legit member, you need to be at least able to hold your own against an admiral for a bit. I'm not saying you need to be able to beat an admiral, or even come close to beating one. I'm just saying you need to be able to hold your own against one for a bit. Now, what I want to talk about here is the fact that some people may find the idea of someone like Nami or Chopper being admiral level to be the biggest bullshit on the planet, but you have to think about it. Luffy will be on his own level at this point in the theory. It won't be the same ranking system as it is now. Now you have like, you know, you have Admiral level, Yoko level. At this point in the theory, it will be Admiral level, Yoko level, and then it's Pirate King Luffy level. It's not Pirate King level, no, it's like Pirate King Luffy level. Like, the only one with that level of power is Luffy. He's the Pirate King, the strongest man alive. So when you think about it, Admiral level isn't that, isn't that high anymore. Well, it is. It's still ridiculous. But it's like, would it really be that far off to like Nami or Chopper be able to hold their own against an Admiral? Not saying they'll beat one, but I'm saying it's not. I think Nami at the end of the theory could last like a minute or bit against an Admiral. Now, another reason I believe it is because no Roger Pirate besides Rayleigh has been seen fighting. Because if you look at it from a like, different perspective, Shanks and Buggy were chore boys, cabin boys. They weren't necessarily members of the crew. They were just there to be there. You guys understand that? They were just there to be there and help out. But they weren't necessarily full-fledged, like, legit members. They were chore boys. So they didn't necessarily need to be fighters. They, they, their jobs didn't involve fighting. But this, these are people that are full-fledged pirates, fully adults, and also they're fully grown adults that are serving under Luffy. And I believe if they're going to serve under him, they need to be strong. Also, these are the guys that will probably be leading all of the division from the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. So they obviously need to be the strongest if they're going to lead all of the incredibly powerful people. Now, another thing I want to talk about is the misconception that, uh, not me, but we can draw high. I'm also like glad to over that. Before anybody, in case nobody said it in the comments, Nami is not the weakest draw hat that is Ustop. It was stated by Oda in an FBS. But what I want to try to get at here is that the straw hat, in my opinion, will be like this. All the weakling, all the members of the weakling and like unknown trio, whatever you call Frankie, uh, Robin, and Brooke. But the weakling trio, Frank, so Nami, Chopper, and Ustop will be around like not Admiral level, but they'll be very close to it. Kind of like where I would put Luffy prior to Gear 4. Not Admiral level, but he's close to it. Then I would say, or maybe a little bit weaker than that, but you see where I'm getting at here. For uh, Robin, for Robin, I would put Robin around the same levels I would put like Nami and Usopp and Chopper. I would put Frankie mit at, like, uh, maybe at like weak admiral level, like low tier admiral. Uh, I put Brooke down there with uh, Robin, Nami, Chopper, and Usa. And I would, of course, put Sanji and Zoro. I'm gonna get some hate for this. Both at Yoko level. And of course, I put Luffy at Pirate King level. Now, you may disagree with this, but this is what I think. I think each and every straw hat will be capable of tangling with an admiral by the end of the theory. And some of them, Luffy, may be able to easily defeat most admiral level characters. Maybe the fucking Pirate King. And he's so incredibly powerful that I just don't see his crew member, his subordinate, being tremendously weaker than him. Now, I'm not saying Luffy viewed them as subordinates. I'm not saying that by any means. I just think I think it's very likely. Now, these are my thoughts, so I'll go over them one more time. Nami, Usopp, Chopper, and Brook, and Robin will be low, will be right below Admiral level. I'll put Frankie at 
like Admiral level, but like the weakest an Admiral can get. Then above that, I will have Loro and Sanji at Yonko level each, with Luffy being on a, on his own level, that being Pirate King level, with few people in the world being able to match him. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys!